Well, as you can see, I'm not on the garden today. I'm going out and about. And I'm going to a place I've never been to before, never even heard of it until a few years ago. It's Halstead. Now, apparently there's two. There's one in the uh, northeast and there's another one in the southeast. So I'm hoping I'm going to the right one. I was due to go and look at this flower show about three years ago, but then a sort of small pandemic hit the world. So it's been delayed and delayed. So I'm hoping that today we'll go to plan and I'll get to finally see the Halstead Village Flower Show. Well, I don't know where I am. New place. On the map, it looked very villagey. Now, the choices are, I try and catch a bus, but I got a feeling there are no buses on the weekend. Or I walk for half an hour. Or get try and find a cab. But I think I might just start walking for a bit and see what we will see. There's a beautiful building here. So here's a bus stop, but this seems very confusing. You have to download an app, set up an account, and then pre-book the bus. It's... Oh, I'm not doing that. It's always strange when you arrive in a place you've never been to before, because you do rely on public information, and that just seems confusing. For the sake of half an hour walking, I think I'll just catch the the cab because then I'd rather be sweaty going home than sweaty turning up to an event so it's well worth it but yes it's like being just plonked in plonked in nowhere and you have got no idea how things work but that what would happen if you didn't have a phone with you you know or my battery is on 45% and I've only been out of the house for about an hour. Pre-book only. Hiya. Yeah.
So I don't know where we're going, but uh, these two ladies have de decided to take me into the woods. <laughs> so, uh, although I can see that there is a there's a brick wall coming up, so maybe we're going through this uh, very old school fence style. So let us have a look at, through the gate. Look at this. So this is beautiful. This used to be a kitchen garden for the big house, but the big house is now gone and sadly they've built houses there. So that was the land for the big house. So they've had this since the late 70s. Just imagine having an allotment with a walled garden going around it. Wonderful. It's not very big. There's an orchard here. But once that uh, leaf blower stops, I would imagine it's extremely quiet. Wonderful. And they look like they've got a communal compost bin. See, it's not that big. I just think something like this would have fed a big house. A bit like Harry Dodson's day in the Victorian kitchen garden. Let's go and have a look at the orchard, shall we? So this is where a lot of the members who are in the show today who have put their produce in. This is where they grow it. Look at these trees. They've been here for decades. The stories these could tell. And they have a shared table here as well. Somebody puts the apples that have fallen off the trees. And I think you can come and have them. A nice warm day today. See, there's not a lot, and there's a polytunnel there, but unfortunately, I was told vandals came in and broke it. There's a strong smell of apples. See, it's a shame they built those houses there, but people have got to live, I suppose. So, and because this is a private site, you can have a bigger shed or a greenhouse as big as you want it. And over here, We've got, what am I looking at? Beehives. Oh, we've got beehives. I thought there might have been a pheasant, the way you were pointing. No, no, beehives. <laughs> beehives there. And this greenhouse is the only one on site to have glass in it. Let's look at this wall here. Imagine coming through that door to go and do your bit of gardening for the day. So does this door lead into somebody's back garden now? Yeah, that used to be the old house of the village, but now it's um, blocks of houses, you know that. Yeah. Look at the walls. You can see where over the years they have put nails in for the tagging of pears and cherries and things. Just listen to that silence now that the leaf blow was closed, uh, closed off. Beautiful silence. 
look at these compost bins. They look like the original ones. Look at that. And a graveyard for wheelbarrows. This must be a communal bin. Bricks all around. Heading down this side, a uh, raspberry bed. And another entrance. I wonder, oh, that must be their communal shed where they go make a cup of tea. We are quite close, I think, to the airport. Can you see that? It, I think it's a Spitfire. very important to the village. It's been running for about 35 years, set up by a committee and it's being a small village it's very good that we have such a good uh, lot of exhibits. And you've had a bad year for weather so it's but, quite impressive. Yeah but the flowers are very good yeah. Unfortunately the vegetables are a bit low on that but hopefully next year we'll be back up and running. So is it just the show you do? Or else? do a spring show and a summer show which are both evening shows whereas this is a Saturday, all day Saturday. Yeah, yeah. It's important to keep these It is alive. important to keep these things going, yeah. Try and bring on new people, which we're getting a lot of young people from the, from the um, wall garden allotments. They've started to exhibit a lot more now, which is good. That's what we want. And what would you say to somebody who's never entered a show? Enter, put anything in, even if you don't think it's good enough, put it in because people are very surprised. Like people last year had never exhibited before. They exhibited last year and they won. won a walked away with a trophy, which is brilliant because we're all amateurs. None of us are professional. And uh, this year they've come back with more exhibits, which is really good for a small society like we are. Well, that was a beautiful day out and beautiful people. 
and one of them's just giving me a lift to the train station. So I'm going to catch the train and head back, back home. Now I didn't buy anything in the auction, but I was given something because I was admiring it. And I wonder if you remember these from the 70s. So I'm going to take it home and I'm sure the cats will love it. Remember these? So I've got the thing as well and you put it on top and it turns around and you get all fiber optic lights. <laughs> Somebody was going to throw it out so I said I would take it out. Well I was pre prepared to give them five pounds but they went no take it. We don't want to see it again. So thanks for joining me in this little day out. Hopefully we'll do some more of these in the uh, months to come. So I will catch up with you next time back on the allotment. If you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And if you are going to comment, tell me where you are in the world in the comments. Because it's good to know where everybody's based. Right, my train is due. I'll catch up with you later. So from me until then, bye for now.